Hi guys, it's me Random PJ. So today in this video, I am going to make a um, laser projector. Uh, that laser projector will work like uh, you give a frequency to it, and in a response of that frequency, it will uh, reflect some light on a surface like a wall. And I like that you can actually play music and you can also visualize sine waves uh, that are created when sound is traveling through the air. And the things you need to build it are a speaker, and you need a balloon something like this and then you need to trim off this balloon uh, this excess part of the balloon and then you need to stretch this balloon over the, the membrane of the balloon over the surface of the speaker okay. so it will look something like this the balloon is stretched over the surface of the speaker and what you need to do next is you need to stick a, a mirror right in the middle of the membrane so when the speaker will vibrate it will also vibrate this uh, membrane and when this membrane will vibrate this meter will also uh, oscillate according to the vibration of the membrane so you can also use um, like uh, um, double sided tape or any adhesive but you can't use super glues because that will melt the membrane so you need something like a fevicol or any double sided tape in my case I have used a double sided tape okay so the next thing you need to do is connect this speaker to this amplifier like this okay. so the speaker is connected to the amplifier now the next thing you need to do is okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to take a chair like this and with the help of a selfie stick I have connected this laser light right here and by with this selfie stick I can actually adjust the angle of the laser light and it is powered by this battery so it works something like this when you turn this laser light this clips this clip holds the laser light the switch of the laser light and the laser light then shines Okay, so what we need to do is focus this light right on the mirror that I had fixed uh, on the membrane of the speaker. Then we need to play some sounds, some pure notes, and we'll together. Okay, so there you can see the reflection on the wall, right there. Now let me switch off the lights. Okay, so you can see something interesting here. Here, I mean, I have switched off the first uh, set of hertz for some time. Uh, I'm using only these two. This is 232 hertz. So that is 232 hertz. And this is 340 hertz. Okay, so as I turn on this 340 hertz and this 232 hertz simultaneously, it creates this spinning structure. So as I, so as I will increase this um, 340 hertz, to a higher value you can see that structure will start spinning very slow and eventually it will become slower and slower and it will come one time that the structure will just stop and it will become a static uh, structure some random structure and as I so then you know keep on increasing then it will again change its form so you can see that at 232 hertz and 348 hertz the structure has stopped spinning and again Okay, so the next structure will be a pulsating structure. So what it means is that um, uh, three very similar set of frequencies, like I mean, 130 hertz, 131 hertz, 132 hertz. So they are quite similar. They are uh, they will I mean they will uh, produce a kind of uh, intervals. Like you know, it will sound like a police siren. So one hertz will beat first, and then the second hertz will beat. So for that difference, it will actually create some pattern like this, a pulsating pattern. So let the first one be like that circle. Okay, so 317 hertz is that creates that circle. So now I'm going to set it at 318 hertz. Okay, and this one at 319 hertz. So now see the result. You can see how it is pulsating.
guys this was the end of my video i hope you guys like this video and please let me know in the comment section and see you next time please subscribe to my channel and share it as much as possible so my channel can grow and i can bring much better videos uh, than i upload now and please stay safe from corona